Hi there beautiful soul and welcome to this Zapier for beginners tutorial. Today we're going to take a look how you can use Zapier to automate a lot of stuff in your business. So whether you're a coach or a consultant, an agency owner, Zapier is really the tool of tools when it comes to business automation and it can save you a lot of time. So let's get started. If you are new to this channel, my name is Yoka. I am the founder of Unbound Creative Agency, where we help entrepreneurs build lead generating personal brands. And on my own channel, this channel, I sort of take you behind the scenes of how I run my business, how I've scaled my business, all the sort of automations and technical stuff that goes into running my business. And today we're taking a look at Zapier. So Zapier is an automation tool that will basically allow you to create a thing called zaps so also some people say it's zapier or zapier i always say zapier basically it allows you to set up an action that if this happens then i want this to happen and that's the basics of it and then of course you can make it as complex as you want to by adding multiple steps if this happens then this happens then this happens then this happens now i'm gonna head over to my laptop we're gonna take a look at the website sort of to give you an idea of all the stuff that you can do in zapier and then i'm just gonna take you along while i I build a zap for our agency, something that I thought about yesterday that we've now been doing manually, but I think we could also set it up as a zap and sort of eliminate that uh, task for someone in our team. So let's get to it. Okay, so I've quickly opened up an incognito browser um, because if I do this in my normal web browser, it will automatically log me in. But this is the Zapier website and it's already telling you automate your side hustle, automate your lead flow, uh, automate your to-do list, etc. And then below it says that Zapier empowers you to automate your work across 4,000 plus apps so that you can move forward faster. Uh, you can get started for free. And then of course there's the whole, these are companies that have trusted us. Now, what I wanted to show you is that you can go to the top here and click on explore, and then you can just go to popular ways to use Zapier. And then you can sort of browse take a look at the different apps that you use in your business and then get some inspiration on how you might be able to automate some of that stuff. So if you scroll down, it will ask you seamlessly transfer all of your data from one app to another that's in a beta test. But over here, you can find pre-made workflows to help you save time and resources, or you can build something uh, yourself by connecting all your apps together. So if you click get started with a Zap template, it will show you their top apps. So let's say that you use Slack in your agency. You can then click on that. And instead of clicking on the great pairing apps, just click on Zaps and click on see more Zaps. And it will already show you down below. It will show you popular ways that you can use Slack workflows or popular ways that other people are using Zapier to connect Slack with other apps. So for example, you could say um, share new Facebook page posts in Slack. So every time that something is posted to your Facebook page, you might want to add a notification in the Slack channel for your virtual assistant that she needs to manage the comments on that on that post, for example. You could also say, let's say that you have a Google form in your onboarding flow for your agency. Whenever something is filled out in that Google form, you could send the responses for it from that form to your to another slack channel for for example the person in your team that is responsible for onboarding etc and you can set all of this up in slack as an automation so that you can avoid or eliminate any sort of human interaction uh, in in those steps so i'm gonna head over to my own personal zapier account and we're gonna set up uh, a zap for the agency. I'm going to do it in my personal one for now because I can actually show you the, the agency one, but let's just take a look at the zap that we're going to build um, today. It's a very basic one, but it will show you how easy it is to use um, Zapier and hopefully will sort of intrigue you and, and inspire you to take a look at all the different tasks in your business and then just browse uh, the Zapier website to see whether or not you could automate that as well. And probably you could, you can do a lot of stuff in Zapier and I love it. This has really um, opened up a lot of time uh, for us and the people in our team uh, from stuff that we used to do manually and that is now being handled automatically 
by Zapier. So let's head over to my personal Zapier account and set up the Zap. All right, so I am now in my personal Zapier account. And what I wanna set up today is a connection between our agency YouTube channel and our Facebook page and LinkedIn page. Here's the thing, we have someone on our team who does social media scheduling. So every time that we have a new YouTube video go live, she will also share it to Facebook and LinkedIn. Now, I believe that we can eliminate that task for our virtual assistant because this should be something that we can automate. I believe that we can set up a trigger that says whenever a new YouTube video goes live on this YouTube channel, share it to Facebook and share it to LinkedIn doesn't seem very complicated. I think we can do it in Zapier. So we're just gonna get started. Over here, you can see it says create your own workflow and I'm gonna say search for app, connect this app, YouTube, because that will be our trigger. This is whenever a YouTube video goes live, do something else in another app. And I'm gonna say Facebook, let's start with that one. And it gives me the options of Facebook lead ads, Facebook pages, conversions, or messenger. I'm gonna go for Facebook pages. Now, keep in mind that whenever you're connecting something to Facebook, you cannot automate anything on a Facebook profile. It's the same for when you're posting content. You can use a scheduling tool to post to a Facebook page. You cannot use a scheduling tool to post to your Facebook profile. That's just how it works, privacy and all that. I'm gonna say new video in channel then create a page post. I think that's it. Now, when you set up these zaps, sometimes you're gonna come across these little quirks. So for me, new video and channel, I'm already wondering, can I select that this is only for videos once they go public? Because we have a bunch of videos scheduled in that channel that aren't public yet. And I don't want them to be posted to Facebook yet. So I'm just gonna take a look in the next step to see if I can actually say like, hey, only do this for videos once they um, are published. So let's click on try this. Connect your apps, okay, get started. And so they ask, connect your YouTube account. So I'm gonna go connect a new account. We have a lot of accounts because we run a YouTube agency. So I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go with this one. Allow. See, sometimes these are the quirks that I'm talking about. Our YouTube channel has a logo and it has the correct name, but somehow when it's pulled into Zapier, it's labeled as YouTube 11. Um, these are little quirks that you're going to have to a little bit work around, but still it's not complicated. We've selected the right channel and then we click on next, enter a YouTube channel. I'm going to have to go and find the YouTube idea for our channel. We're going to go to the channel. And then I am guessing that this is my channel ID. Let's just try that. Getting data from YouTube. So that was correct. That's the channel ID. Connect Facebook pages. Okay, connect, log in with Facebook. All of this is like it's doing it automatically. So now I'm gonna select this Unbound Creative Agency page. Okay, I'm just gonna allow them to do everything. You've now linked Xavier to Facebook. Okay, great. All right, and then you click next. Unbound Creative Agency, that's the page I want. Maps fields from YouTube into Facebook pages. So this is asking what kind of message do you want to be posted with your Facebook post? Now, this is where you can customize it based on certain elements that your YouTube video has. So you can type regular text and then add elements from that YouTube video, right? So I can, for me, I'm just gonna do a super simple, like another video just went live on our YouTube channel and I'm gonna search for fire emoji and then I'll do this week we're discussing and then I'm gonna add see these are the elements that you can click so I'm gonna go this week we're discussing and then I'm gonna click the YouTube title in between quotation marks and then I'm gonna say head over to YouTube to watch the full video and I'm gonna do 
rocket emojis. I'm just sort of making this up as we go along. This was something that I thought about yesterday that I thought would be practical so that our social media VA doesn't have to manually schedule this every single time. So we'd go here and then copy. All right, so that's gonna be the message for the post. And then the link, optional link URL attached to this post. Yes, I want the URL from YouTube for this specific video. So they ask, do you wanna attach a URL? And then it allows you to, to use the elements from your YouTube video. So this is the embed URL. We don't necessarily need that. Sometimes really it's just about scrolling and looking at all the elements and then selecting the one that you want. So for me, I just want this one, the youtube.com URL. All right, next. All right, and I'm just gonna go and do send test. Check your Facebook page's account to view it. So then we're gonna go to Facebook and we are gonna go to um, creative agency. And this update should now be here. Another video just went live, not now. There it is. Another video just went live on our YouTube channel. This week we're discussing how to find trending sounds on Instagram Reels 2022. Head over to YouTube to watch the full video. And that's where it is. And as you know, like as you can see, 15 hours, because it's a video that went live yesterday, this was posted by our social media manager, but he had to go and do it manually. So now that's something that we have automated. And, and now for all the upcoming videos that we have on that channel, this is happening automatically. While I'm saying that, I'm just thinking that what I would then go and check is if I upload a video to my YouTube channel as unlisted, will it also get push to Facebook. So that's something that I would then go and test just to make sure that everything is running all right. But as you can see, it's super easy to set up. Um, and I will now do the same thing for LinkedIn. And then that's that. That's something that's two tasks each week that normally someone is doing manually that now has been automated by Zapier. It will save our team time, but it will also in the long run save us money because this is something that we can now also do for a bunch of our clients. And then we no longer need someone in our team spending time on that, which means less people in our team, less money spent on outsourcing, and it's all happening automatically. So this is just a very basic thing that you can do in Zapier. I also use this to transfer leads between apps, to trigger automated email messages, uh, automatic uh, messages in Slack. We've used it all for a while to automatically upload videos from a specific Google Drive folder to a YouTube channel because in a creative agency, we're constantly uploading and downloading stuff that takes a lot of time. So it's easier once an edit gets approved to move it from one file on the Google Drive to another file, uh, other folder on Google Drive, and then have that trigger an upload to YouTube. Uh, then having to, again, download that video, then upload it to YouTube. Again, this software is just gonna save you a bunch, a bunch of time. Plus it's really fun. Like once you get into it and you start sort of analyzing all the little tasks that you have in your business, you can really like, I sometimes just spend an afternoon browsing and seeing what else I can automate. I even use it to automate some of like stuff for my personal life. If that's something that you wanna see a video on as well, it's just leave a comment down below and I'll make a video on how you can use Zapier to automate your personal life and your social life. But yeah, that's it for now. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. That helps me understand if this is content that you uh, that you appreciated and that you want to see more of. Then in the meantime, make sure that you check the videos over here and I will see you next time.